Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as the Communist Yugoslavia, and we are currently, us, only us, are going to try to hold back the entire force of the Allies in uh, northwestern Germany. Which doesn't seem entirely fair, I have no idea what the uh, Communists, or what the Soviets are doing. Most likely, they're mostly derping about here in, uh, in Asia, and again, if we can get the access to just capitulate completely, everything will change. It'll be so much better. Um, so we have initiated our plan of landing over here, grabbing a little bit of territory for ourselves, and trying to develop it. Um, can we see the Q? What is it? T? T. So we're going to build some radar stations, some anti-air over here. I'm going to... I don't even know if the anti-air will be required. Tell you what, we'll build one, and I'll drop it down a little bit. We want airfields over here, and we want radar to help us get some aerial coverage. Um, meanwhile, our paratroopers are going to keep pushing through there, and then this paratrooper group is just going to hold on to this place here. So, uh, yeah, you're going to... You've got a front line, and I've always still told you to, like, auto-move. I'll just queue that up, and that's going to be A-OK. -okay. All right, uh, what else are we doing? Well, I've gone and designed um, some heavy tank divisions over here, which should do pretty well for themselves. They are four mechanized, three heavy tanks, and two... Um, heavy self-propelled artillery here. Lots of soft attack. Should be a good amount of hard attack, I think. Again, we're not seeing tons of tankage. A uh, good amount of breakthrough, so these guys can be used for offensive play, which is going to be good. Because, I mean, now we've got manpower again, so we can start training, which is great. Um, now, is that, how much is that going to hurt our production? I think we're going to run low on artillery. I think I did do some reshuffle not that long ago, and maybe I'm not building as much artillery as I was. And I'm a little concerned about that. Uh, that might have been a mistake. Let me go and refill this queue and do that. Right now, it's just needing for upgrades, but... Yeah. I'm a little worried that we're going to run low on that. Meanwhile, these guys are going to keep pushing like crazy. Hmm. I don't suppose you would be willing to give me some artillery. No. I'm, I'm assuming you're not willing to give me anything. Now, we could push up over here. I'm actually thinking we will. I think you're going to do this, which is going to be fine, and you're going to assist. We might push up to the river, because an interesting idea is, can we go and cut these guys off? I've been talking about that. Like, do we deploy the heavy tanks here and go there? You know, I'm, I'm actually thinking we really are just going to try to tank out or just hold off the enemies here for as long as possible um, while we just focus entirely on winning things in... In Japan, if we can smash Japan and get the Axis to capitulate, which I mean, that's really it. There's, I mean, there's a little bit over here, but that's not much. That we will be in a much better situation because the entire Soviet attention should go back onto the flank we care about. Yeah. Well, we'll see how that works out. Because <laughs> uh, it would be really nice if we could just get all the Soviet forces over here in the West, because they've pulled back and they've left me. Um, holding the bag here. I wonder if I should have just, like, had a front. At some point when they get closer here, I really will have to redraw this as an actual front, because otherwise what happens if they punch through the fallback line, then everything goes bonkers, and your, your, your units are really bad at, at handling that. The train just started. Just started. Know, the MPs are probably still worthwhile. Oh, are you trying to start something again? Okay, but not really. I don't know if I want to push any more than this. Because I'm a little bit worried about overextending this line. And at least here we're in the forest. We don't have the river crossing, but we do have the forest bonus. Construction 5 just finished. That's got to be helpful. Um, I don't think we need the extraction. Rubber still wouldn't be bad. I think at some point we will need experimental rockets. I think if we're... if Assuming we push the Allies off the continent, we're probably going to need jet fighters at the point to take the UK. We don't have marine tech itself, but we can do small little invasions, so that's going to be good enough. Mechanized is being developed, that's fine. Um, higher tier MPs is probably a good idea. I mean, it's not literally the most critical right this second, but we're not going to get anything right this second anyway. So let's go ahead and do that, because we do still have problems with resistance. Although, it's starting to get a little bit better. And 
Division 12. Good. Um, the map's not quite showing me what I'm looking for right now. There we go. So. There. Go all the way up to, to Berlin and see if you can squash the, resilient, the resistance that way. 443 factories. Many of which are broken, of course. So it's a little deceptive. I could be playing around maybe with the production queue a little bit more or for the repairs to happen in the right order, but I don't know. So in France, they have air superiority. Okay, that's fine. Meanwhile, how are we doing? Oh, very good. Um, you're going to go... Okay. So you... Just going to come down here. Except for one of you, you're going to do this. And then you'll help do this. Um, and the trio that's moving over here, I'm going to let you finish doing the cross, and then you'll do some of that. Yeah! Because these guys should be all out of supply. So it should be pretty easy to just smash them, make sure we've got a supply line that's going in down here, simplify the front for the Soviets so they can focus more on taking territory down here, which is happening. Fall of... Huh? Oh, it's not us. There's just some exchanges going on here. Okay. So we still have these guys just chilling, which I think is fine. You guys are all okay here. Everything's groovy. Just doing a little pass over all the territory to make sure that things aren't you know, going miserable all of a sudden. I mean, we can make a run here, but I'm not I'm not sure there's anything to gain from it. We just don't have the, just the pure numbers. They are really sitting quite far back, and I can't figure out why. So they have a battle plan. They're organizing a battle plan on this line here. That's why they're not going yet. And then at some point they'll hit play on it. It's interesting that they're not, even without 100% planning, they're not moving to unprotected territory. Which seems a little bit odd, but... I don't know, I guess it's fine, but I gotta keep checking on this, because at one point they're gonna go, and we're gonna have to take some sort of response. We could probably poke through and take Lyon, but I don't know, what's your unit? It's only 50%. The problem is... The UK, I don't know. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta make our, our, our victory will come from knocking Japan out of the war. That will be what our victory comes from. Now, these are not the greatest troops to be doing this fighting, because they don't have a whole lot of extra modules thrown in, but... Like, support divisions and whatnot. You know what, you guys, can you just do this? Wow. Okay, then just halt. Organize on there. Offensive line for this. And just chill. These guys are, oh, they're not starving out. They got this, fuck's sake, Russia, just go and take this territory. Okay. Because that's the problem, they're getting supplies again. So we're going to come over here and do that. Come all the way around and activate when you get there. We need to cut them off from this port. God damn it, just do something for a change. AI allies drive me crazy. And, and all their troops are just like sitting in the middle of their, their territory, shuffling back and forth. I think they're going to the western side now, which would be nice, but I mean, it'd be nice if they hadn't pulled it away in the first place. Oh, come on, Russia. Anyway. I mean, we need time to build up our, our the infrastructure we're looking for over here, so it's not necessarily the end of the world. Alright, let's go up to speed 5. Oh, purple guys. Let's go. So got some units here, but hopefully we'll be able to just bang in with a whole bunch of troops and just knock it out of there. Hey, mechanized equipment 2. We can't go to 3 yet. Can we get planes? No, we got those planes. That's right. The tanks are all good. And the artillery is done here mostly. Um, we can get we can get this actually 100% off if we want to wait. Still wondering about rocket artillery play. It's hard to like do a whole switch over, but I don't know. Maybe it's the right thing. Um, we might do. Oh, you know what? You could use the ground support bonus. I mean, we're not building ground support planes. Maybe it's time to to actually just research that and start building them. And boom. Alright, you're building up. You've got that. Okay, got to flip back over here and make sure they haven't started advancing yet so that we don't have to respond. Oh, uh, they're starting to poke a little bit. Like, 
we've got one division here, and they're going to be hitting us with, like, 10-plus in these places. We cannot hold this line. We'll do our best for as long as we can. All right, they're going to be green, but we have to get them out there before the advance starts, so they can at least get some digging bonus. And the advance is starting now. I wonder if I can run around these guys. Probably I don't have enough people. But there might be some possibilities for something. Yeah, we're still in speed 5. And if we can do some just out and out encirclements. Like that. We might be able to start doing a little bit of trimming. That would be something. Okay, meanwhile. Yeah, there you go. Everyone go in there. Get these guys out of the port. And then the rest of them will all starve to death. Concentrated Industry 5. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, let's start doing experimental rockets. We're gonna, we're gonna want that stuff at some point. Okay, we're still holding. Things are good in most places. Um, you're gonna grab Lyon, which is great. Because you guys can just go and make sure that guy gets obliterated. We could probably push to Montpellier over here. I'm not sure there's a, necessarily a gain for it, other than thinning out our lines, but... I don't know, maybe it'll cause the um, the allies to reconsider their attack over here. Maybe they'll decide they got to deploy more guys over here. I mean, it wouldn't be hard to, to counter me over here, but at least we could fall back to the mountains. It's actually kind of manageable if we can taunt them, if we can bait them into attacking us over here. Because our fallback position is a hell of a lot stronger than falling back over here. Okay, everything's still green everywhere. Good. This is not the Yugoslavia Theater 3. I'm going to call this... Japan. I'm actually trying to counterattack, but there we go. Now you have nothing. We can do that. We'll set up an attack. Planned, anyway. We'll just wait for these guys to starve out a bit before we actually go. Meanwhile, no markers anywhere. Everything is just chill. That's good. No weird naval invasions that I've missed. No. Oh, we're defending over here. But again, we should be pretty comfortable defending here a, a fair bit. Mostly okay with that. I think that's going to be fine. Um, we might be able to, like, wrap around this guy. It's a little bit risky, but it's entirely possible. And then a little bop. We're getting awfully close to here. Oh, okay, there's another attack starting, although so far so good. Defend, defend, defend. There we go. Uh, they're going to be trying to close things up over here. But I think we will be moving in friendly territory, so we should be able to do it first. There we go. Keep this guy isolated. Everything's still fine here? Yep. Oh, what is this? Red. They're attacking me here. Um, that should be not something they can win. And they haven't starved out yet. They're not out of supply yet. They're still in their grace period. Um, you know what we're going to do? We're going to change the orders. We'll just wrap around this entire thing. I don't have tons of troops for it, but it's not too bad. Make it a little easier to keep them pinned in. I don't think they can get back to another naval base, though. As long as we've got this, everything else is too far away. We're holding there. We're developing stuff. That's fine and good and groovy. Um, my planes over here, you're providing... Actually, you're not helping with air support here. There you go. Make sure we've got air speed already. Could put in some close combat stuff, too. Because I do have some. Do, 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 do. Close air support. You guys. I don't know. Tactical bombers. They can do close air support, too. Normal, just do day because we don't really have radar coverage and it's fine, and you're just here for close air support. Okay. So you're holding there, but yeah, our counterattacks, these guys again will start starving to death. 
Although apparently they're still good enough to counterattack against some Russian units across a river. Okay, not forever. Are you starving yet? Not yet. Although you can't resupply, so it's still going to be quite helpful. Meanwhile, we are defending successfully over here. How'd that go? Looks like we got a bop, which is great. So, I mean, I could get up behind these guys. But then, here we're attacking across the river into Toulouse against a superior enemy. I mean, yeah, oh, multi-flank, but it's not like we have a full encirclement. It's not like they're going to starve to death. We could push further up here, but there's no way we're going to have sufficient numbers to pull that off. I think this is kind of as much as we're going to do over here. But it looks like they are being forced to pull back, and they're all French forces so far, but... It might have disturbed their plans a little bit here. Okay, they have moved up. They are moving up to our, our fallback line now. This is equipment position. That's fine. Or production, not position. Meanwhile, oh, come on! Soviets, what are you doing, man? Try not to lose this war for me. I mean, you're working real hard to lose this war for me, but... You can do it. And it'd be really great if you guys would just participate in bopping the frack out of these guys. I mean, come on. It's getting be embarrassing. There's no reason we can't have, like, killed all of these guys already. So we got all the bonuses. Multiple combats. They're not actually starved out yet, but they will. So we'll just leave that automation. It'll, it'll happen at some point. You're still chilling there? Okay. And you guys are still good here for now. At this point, things have moved up enough that most of my troops actually will be in their their current dug-in position. There's going to be a lot of reshuffling, which is going to be annoying. But I think it's best now if I do draw that as the front line. Um, some of my guys will move in here, which does make them a little bit vulnerable. But I think it's okay. Um, and just for the sake of whatever, I will draw an offensive line and say, Hey, wouldn't it be swell if we could somehow push up to this river. But I'm not going to hit play. And they'll be cautious by default. But they can get some sort of planning bonus. So yeah, half the guys will all of a sudden start doing some strategic redeployment, which drives me crazy for this. We just need more numbers. I mean, we almost have one giant front, but which isn't actually that helpful. It's important that these guys retreat into the mountains. And these guys don't really have a retreat plan at all. Which is poopy. The, the plan in the north is, God damn it, Russians, show up. That, that's the plan in the north. Uh, you're actually trying to do a little something something here. But looks like we're going to hold you back. You do have the straight crossing, so that's going to be okay. Meanwhile, in Japan... How, how are you still not out of supply? They might have things to increase their grace period. Yeah, yeah, I don't think the, uh, the Soviet troops are, sh are showing up at this battle. Which is mind-boggling. There we go. They're officially out of supply now. So their grace period is over, so eventually we'll get there, maybe. I'm tempted to, like, switch these guys for, like, my normal, like, good infantry at this point. Oh, we're actually going to lose that spot. Instead of these paratrooper divisions. And then switch them back. I mean, all we do, I guess, is we lose XP. It might be worthwhile. We're getting late 43. Yeah, let's go ahead and start researching the close air support tech. I don't know if we'll find the time in the production, but at least we'll have an option for it. some of the attacks, I was going to say, are starting to work, but no. <sighs> How are we in equipment-wise? We're good on everything except mechan uh, mechanized, which is still being reinforced there. Alright, you know what? We'll have to switch you back after, but there we go. It'll take a while before we get all your better equipment, but with these guys starving out, I mean, all these attacks right now are kind of poop. I'll get you to stop and halt. You pull back over there, but that's okay. As long as we don't lose the port, which we won't, because there are some Russian troops there. I mean, at least they're good at standing there. That's something they can do. I was really hoping to have dropped on Japan by now. 
but I want to take care of that little pocket. We are successfully defending in a lot of areas, so that's something. Now, the tank divisions we added here, tank divisions are not particularly good at defending. Um, but, I mean, they're still there, so, like, can we trim this front a little bit? Yeah, if, that would make it shorter. We'd have to attack across the river to make it happen. But, at this point, we're, we're so thin that shrinking the front is actually preferable, probably. Alright, just waiting for the strength to build up over here. And then we'll hit play again. The organization's back, but they're still missing some gear. So, we're successfully defending here. I mean, that's something. We don't have our air support here. That would be probably really good if we did. It would suck if they did a naval landing back here. I'm not sure why they haven't done that, but... It looks like they've... I don't know what they've done. But obviously, we're going to do this. Be careful, because there's some more mountain over here. We do have Alpine Divisions, though. So it's not too bad. As long as we can, like, attack from multiple angles very carefully here and playing this, like, turn-based game and get some stuff done, these attacks would all be doomed to fail. <sighs> Alright, seriously. Just break these people. Alright, it is finally happening. They're just running away everywhere. Well, not everywhere. They should be a little closer running out of juice. And and we're concentrating the force strength a little bit now. Let me get you to come in here. Come in there. Oh, we actually got an overrun. You're doing that, which is great. Okay, so these guys should all get bopped. And then we have to turn all these guys back into paratroopers. Um, unless... You know what? You guys are going to get high priority. New paratroopers. We're going to get extra forces over here. That's what we're going to do. I mean, it does hurt a little bit that we don't have more stuff going on here. Um, also, uh, how are we on equipment? Okay, so far. We actually probably should train some more regular dudes. Oops, I didn't actually hit the button. Actually, I guess you can go and be infinity maybe. No. One dose. You got enough equipment for all those guys. Do that. Be ready to join this front. Start training. Japan. Counterattack there, but yeah. Now we're gonna, like, the critical mass of troops to just obliterate. Finally. Maybe. No, you don't actually have any strength. But, that's okay. So yeah, we're going to keep these guys around. These guys are going to be the ones who swoop in after the paratroopers get some landing, because I think we're going to need more muscle to take Japan. We can't just necessarily... Well, we can't just drop on Tokyo. They've got 90% national unity. So, you know, that's not great for us. Alright, finally goddamn done. Oh my god. That was, that was so much worse than it should have been. Military police. Oh, right. Um, yeah, you know what? It's fine. Get, a, get another dose of that. Alright, purple. You still haven't gotten all your gear. You know what? And, and your experience doesn't... I'm actually going to switch you back to paratroopers right now. We're going to get you all landed through paratrooping, and then convert you over. Which, I mean, does suck for some organization... But I think it's going to be for the best. So we've got, I guess this is their, there we go, level 10 airport over here. I guess that's fine. Is that actually closer? I don't know, but I do want all the planes to be over here. And in particular, I need to make sure to deploy. How come I can't, do I have nothing to deploy? Are these my transport planes? These are my transport planes. Oh, okay. So we're fine. So yeah, all y'all, you're actually going to be providing air cover. Polar Japan. I don't know if we need um, air superiority over the sea over here to do the drop or not, or we may already have it. I don't know. 
Um, apparently we've got a lot of these guys available. And you know what? We can start doing strategic bombing. And port strikes. Uh, sorry, I think they put on naval strikes. That's not what I want to do. Port strikes. Ships and ports are super vulnerable. Super vulnerable. So, we're going to be doing this. And what? So we can't reach this naval base. So what we're going to do is land here. Once we've landed, I'm going to send one guy up here to go and take that naval base. And the rest of you guys, your job will be to... Well, ultimately, run down to here, which apparently won't let me draw. Oh, offensive line, not front line. Your job will be to run down to there. We may or may not be able to get there, but we'll do what we can. Okay, I don't want to hit play yet because you'll land with no organization. Although, there's probably no one here... You know what? You can go. You're not complaining about lack of anything, so there you go. Um, so everyone move down there, except for one guy who's going to go up here and make sure to secure this naval base. So we've got a flow of supplies coming down. And the rest of you try to get down as far as you can over this way. Probably what I'll do is I'll tell one of you to, say, go there. I'll tell another one of you to go this path. And another one of you, just to make it explicit, here, 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 here. Okay. So you're going to be low on supplies until we get this port, but then we're going to be okay. I'm actually wondering if I shouldn't add a couple of levels. There we go. Let's bring it up to level four. Because I think we're going to count on this for some goods to flow through. I'm not sure, actually. Might be wrong about that. I guess I am. I'll, I, what I really need is a higher level port on this island. In fact, we might want to start building one up down here if we get there. Okay. That's what time we're at. Oh, we got to put a cut in here. I guess I'm going to do that now. But the invasion of the island of Japan has begun. <sighs> You're not ready to go. You're not ready to go. This might be too many paratroopers. I don't know. Oh! Um, we could deploy some more, like, green category, um, heavy tanks. Oh. No, no. It's this I want to do. And yet, you're going to deploy over here. And I guess the MPs can go and deploy. Um, unassigned divisions, you guys. You guys join blue group, so you can do some more rebel busting. We're going to see if we can't run the tanks up to Paris or hit them from behind. Like, that actually might give us an opportunity to do something. Even if all we do is take up some territory here, it really Fs up the flow of supplies to these guys. And they could be routinely undersupplied and really not be able to push. We're holding so far. I don't know if it'll last forever. They've got a lot of troops over here, but we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. See you next time.